Stemeria is a nation based in the British Isles that's established an empire of autonomous member states, each with their own unique cultures and identities, that have been brought together by the desire to attain greater levels of self-reliance and self-determination through the promotion of sustainability, personal liberty and social responsibility. Inspiration for the founding of Stemeria goes back to the early 2000s with a real-time strategy game called Empire Earth. As a nation-building game, Empire Earth allowed players to create unique civilizations, collect resources, build cities, and conquer those around them. This game was played by the future Emperor of Stemeria and fueled a passion for history, economics, and politics. Nearly two decades later, in 2019, that passion led to the formation of Stemeria. The name itself is taken from a generic phrase in Empire Earth that the citizens of the early epics of the game would say when given a command. And so it was that Stoma became Stemeria, to pay homage to the humble RTS game that ultimately inspired the formation of a new nation and empire. The flag of Stemeria was designed to be recognisable, meaningful and easily replicated. It was considered essential to use ratios, colours and symbols that wouldn't look out of place amongst the flags of modern nations, but also wouldn't look out of place had it been seen and used in antiquity by the earliest human civilizations. Working on a 1 to 2 ratio, both the simplest and one of the most commonly used ratios for national flags. The flag stemera consists of three vertical bands, with the central band being exactly twice the size of the two outer bands, creating a centralised square with sides of equal length. The eight-pointed star of Stemeria symbolises new beginnings, with early depictions of eight-pointed stars in ancient Sumer, the cradle of human civilization, further emphasising such symbolism. Its position on the central band allows it to be centred within either a perfect square or circle when required, and is also coloured blue. The motto of Stemeria is loyalty, honour, courage. Loyalty a virtue amongst those who willingly and practically devote themselves to a person or cause, especially in the face of adversity. Honour, a virtue amongst those who are honest, principled and fair. Courage, a virtue amongst those who, by their own strength, can move forward in the face of fear. These virtues are held in high regard in Samaria as they are considered fundamental to the survival and expansion of a just and harmonious society. Stemeria's coat of arms features symbols of loyalty, honour and courage, alongside the Star of Stemeria. Traditionally a symbol of loyalty, the White Rose also has a personal significance to the first Emperor and Empress of Stemeria, as it was a central theme on their wedding day. Widely considered a symbol of honour, the griffin was chosen as the national animal of Stemeria. As a mythical creature, the griffin doesn't tie Stemeria to any particular geographical location, and isn't used to represent any other nation in the world today. Chosen as a symbol of courage, the sabre is carried by all members of the Imperial Guard. The blending of cultures that has influenced the style of the sabre is a fitting representation of the various nations that make up the Empire. The Empire of Stemeria is a federal monarchy. The territorial holdings of the Empire takes the form of freehold land that the governing bodies of Stemeria and the member states of the Empire have authority over with the Emperor of Stemeria determining whether or not to designate land as territory of the Empire. These territorial holdings are divided into provinces, each of which is maintained and organised by an appointed governor. Member states may, with the approval of the Emperor of Stemeria, appoint their own governors to those provinces that they have authority over. Member states are nations that have freely joined the Empire, having met all the necessary criteria, agreed to the terms and conditions for membership, and been approved by the Emperor of Stemeria. Broadly speaking, member states must accept a common head of state, common foreign policy, common money, common territory, common citizenship, common military and common language, while retaining control of their own domestic affairs. Some of the specific benefits that a member state can expect would include the following. Citizens of the member state will be permitted to attend summits, gatherings, festivities, markets and other events. The Member State will be advertised across Stemeria's website and social media accounts. The Member State will be provided with standardised artwork and promotional material. The Member State will be represented on silver stator bars. 
The governing body of the member state will be permitted to purchase limited amounts of premium-free gold and silver staters directly from Stemeria periodically. The governing body of the member state will have the opportunity to establish trade agreements with Stemeria and other member states of the empire. The highest authority of the member state will have the opportunity to engage in joint purchase agreements with the Emperor of Stemeria to secure additional territory. The highest authority and appointed governors of the member state will be permitted to join the imperial court. In order for a nation to qualify as a member state, the following criteria is considered. Longevity. When was the nation founded? Consistency. How often has the nation changed its name, flag, governance structure, and so forth? Maturity. How old is the highest authority of the nation, and have they taken part in activities that would bring Stemeria into disrepute? Ideology. Are the values and objectives of the nation compatible with Stemeria's? Activity. Does the nation have a proven track record of consistent activity and progress? Territory. Where is the claimed territory of the nation, and what does it consist of? Community. Has the nation developed a verifiable community and cultural identity? In order for a qualifying nation to become a member state, the following terms and conditions must be agreed to. The highest authority of that nation must become and remain a citizen of Stemeria. The highest authority of that nation must not engage in any activity that could bring Stemeria into disrepute. The highest authority of that nation must remain active and engaged with Stemeria. The nation must recognise the Emperor of Stemeria as the head of state. The nation must not have formal affiliations, alliances, treaties, trade agreements and so forth with other nations, communities, groups or organisations that aren't formally affiliated with Stemeria. The nation must accept status as a medium of exchange, contribute towards the production of additional status, and report on the holdings of status within its treasury. The nation must designate freehold land as provinces of the empire as determined by the Emperor of Stemeria. The citizens of that nation must be permitted to become citizens of Stemeria and other member states. The citizens of that nation, if qualified, must be permitted to join the Imperial Guard. The citizens of that nation must be able to communicate in English as a first or second language. These benefits, qualifying criteria, and terms and conditions are subject to change and are regularly reviewed. The Imperial Court is an advisory body that consists of members of the Imperial family, Stemerian nobles, the highest authority of each member state, and provincial governors. In this way, Every province and nation within the Empire is represented. Meetings are held on a regular basis and include updates from each member state regarding their own development and expansion, discussions regarding matters that concern the Empire as a whole, and announcements regarding the actions that have been taken to advance our shared values and objectives. These meetings are an opportunity for leading members of the Empire to air their concerns, keep updated with recent events, and build ties with leading members of the Empire. Excluding the domestic affairs of the member states that form a part of the Empire, the authority of the Emperor is absolute. A non-exhaustive list would include the power to approve or decline an application for citizenship, appoint or dismiss a citizen from any position within Stemeria, revoke the citizenship of a citizen of Stemeria, act as the Commander-in-Chief of the Imperial Guard, approve or decline an application from a nation to form a part of the Empire as a member state, Revoke the membership of a nation that forms a part of the Empire. Determine whether or not to designate land as territory of the Empire. Authorise the appointment of governors to provinces that member states have authority over. Determine the rules, regulations and laws of Stemeria. Determine the foreign policy of the Empire in terms of external alliances, treaties, trade agreements and so on. And to authorise the minting of additional status. At the discretion of the Emperor of Stemeria, the Empire will establish formal relations with other nations. Allies are nations that have established formal relations, normally involving trade agreements or other mutually beneficial arrangements, with the Empire, having met the necessary criteria, agreed to the terms and conditions for an alliance, and been approved by the Emperor of Stemeria. These terms and conditions are less restrictive than those that nations seeking to join the Empire as a member state must adhere to, but there are also far fewer benefits. Some of the specific benefits that an ally can expect would include the following. 
Citizens of the nation will be permitted to attend summits, gatherings, festivities, markets and other events. The nation will be advertised across Tamera's website and social media accounts. The governing body of the nation will have the opportunity to establish trade agreements with Stemeria and member states of the empire. In order for a nation to qualify as an ally, the following criteria is considered. Longevity. When was the nation founded? Consistency. How often has the nation changed its name, flag, government structure and so forth? Maturity. How old is the highest authority of that nation and have they taken part in activities that would bring Stemeria into disrepute? Ideology. Are the values and objectives of the nation compatible with Stemeria's? Activity. Does the nation have a proven track record of consistent activity and progress? Territory. Where is the claimed territory of the nation and what does it consist of? Community. Has the nation developed a verifiable community and cultural identity? In order for a qualified nation to become an ally, the following terms and conditions must be agreed to. The highest authority of that nation must not engage in any activity that could bring Stemeria into disrepute. The highest authority of that nation must remain active and engaged with Stemeria. The nation must accept status as a medium of exchange. The citizens of that nation must be able to communicate in English as a first or second language. These benefits, qualifying criteria and terms and conditions are subject to change and are regularly reviewed. The Imperial Treasury consists of gold and silver holdings in the form of Stemerian status. All gold and silver holdings take the form of stator bars and stator coins, featuring Stemeria and the member states of the Empire. The name stator is derived from the stator coins used in ancient Lydia two and a half thousand years ago. These are widely considered to be the very first coins and consequently sound money in human history. And so it's very fitting that the name stator is adopted by Stemeria as we work towards reviving the use of sound money as opposed to fiat currency. There will be two versions of the state, with one gram of 999.9 fine gold or 999 fine silver equating to one stator. Unlike many previous monetary systems based on the utilization of gold and silver, however, the ratio between gold and silver staters won't be fixed and market forces will dictate their value independently from one another with their value being based exclusively on the spot price of gold and silver respectively. Staters are circulated across Stemeria and the Empire through their utilization as a medium of exchange. Those that support Stemeria can become Stemerian citizens by making a voluntary financial contribution of any amount, either as a one-off or recurring payment, in order to help fund Stemeria. Citizens will be added to our mailing list and will be updated about important news and events. Depending on the interests, experiences, qualifications, and geographical location of a citizen, there are a number of positions within Stemeria that citizens can apply for. Citizenship, however, doesn't come with an automatic right to residency on Stemerian territory. Citizens that go above and beyond in terms of their loyalty and commitment to Stemeria may be appointed as lords or ladies of Stemeria and join the ranks of the Stemerian nobility. Such appointments are not limited solely to noteworthy financial contributions, and a citizen can become a noble through various means, as long as it's demonstrably exceptional. As Stemerian nobles attain their titles by proving their commitment to Stemeria in one way or another, the highest positions within Stemeria are reserved for such individuals. The Imperial Guard is a policing and security body within the Empire, with Imperial Guardsmen being drawn from Stemeria itself as well as the member states of the Empire. In this way, the Imperial Guard is a visible, real-world symbol of unity within the Empire, though this doesn't prevent each member state from maintaining their own equivalent policing and security bodies if they so wish. The primary role of an Imperial Guardsman is to act as a steward for public events and take part in ceremonial activities. As representatives of the Empire, those that apply to become Imperial Guardsmen must demonstrate their loyalty to the Emperor of Stemeria and the Empire. An Imperial Guardsman will be issued with a uniform and accompanying equipment, including a sabre. A Governor is a citizen of Stemeria or member state of the Empire that's been appointed to maintain and organise a province. The exact duties of a Governor will depend largely on the location, size, primary purpose and productivity of the province that they're responsible for. Through loan work or organising teams of people, 
These duties can range from developing various industries, including agriculture, energy and manufacturing, maintaining conservation areas, hosting public events, and more besides. Like Imperial Guardsmen, governors must demonstrate their loyalty to the Emperor Stamaria and to the Empire before being considered for such crucial roles. Stamaria has launched several campaign initiatives in order to promote, support and raise awareness for a number of important causes. The Green Initiative is Stamaria's way of promoting renewables, reusables and recyclables through small lifestyle changes ranging from the use of LED light bulbs to enhancing soil fertility. The Charity Initiative is Stamaria's way of supporting and raising awareness of charitable organisations through direct financial contributions, with 1% of all revenue being donated to charity on an annual basis. Stamaria stands for Sustainable Agricultural Practices. Sustainable Agricultural Practices refers to, among other things, the promotion of soil health, minimising water usage and lowering pollution levels in order to ensure food safety and food security for future generations, as well as ensuring that there's a sustainable and increasingly organic food supply. Such practices are of immense benefit to the environment. We believe that agriculture is one of the most important but nevertheless overlooked industries in the modern world. With regards to soil health, for instance, Studies show that the long-term viability of farmland is now at risk, with a third of Earth's topsoil having already been severely degraded as a result of intensive farming. This, in turn, is likely to threaten global food supplies within this century. We're promoting sustainable agriculture through composting and mulching, collecting and utilizing rainwater, and avoiding the use of pesticides across all Stamarian provinces. Stamaria stands for the establishment of an economic system based on state capitalism. State capitalism is a mixed economic system where the state acts as both a referee and player within a market economy. State ownership of various primary and secondary sector businesses and industries is essential towards this end. We believe that this system has the potential to bring together some of the best aspects of a market economy, such as innovation, opportunity and freedom, and a command economy such as protecting the environment and attaining greater levels of self-reliance. The profits from state-run businesses and industries can be invested elsewhere in order to generate additional and relatively predictable revenue that can reduce or negate the need for taxation. We're promoting a state capitalist economy through the acquisition of freehold land. The wealth generated from the economic activity on such territories, such as forestry and agriculture, is then invested into the development and expansion of Stamaria's burgeoning industries, without the need for mandatory taxation from the system. Stamaria stands for the utilization of renewable energy. Renewable energy is an energy that's collected from naturally replenished resources. This includes wind, solar, biomass, wave, tidal, hydroelectric, and geothermal energy. Many such sources of energy, however, are highly inefficient, restricted to certain locations, and can disrupt local ecosystems. We believe that utilizing wind, solar, and biomass energy can provide Stamaria with sufficient baseload power, while also being flexible enough to provide additional power during times of high demand. With constant technological advances and breakthroughs in these fields, the cost of such energy in terms of installation and upkeep continues to fall, while efficiency and energy storage capabilities continue to rise. Moreover, such energy sources have the additional advantage of being usable on an individual level, making them ideal solutions to the energy question from the perspective of a nation and community as small as ours. We're promoting renewables through the incremental utilization of solar and biomass energy. This will allow us to attain greater levels of energy security and lessen our dependence on others to meet our energy needs. Stamaria stands for environmental protection. Environmentalism refers to the preservation, restoration and improvement of the environment by recognizing the damage that humanity can have upon it and coming up with solutions to halt and reverse that damage. We believe that our quality of life and the very survival of humanity is inseparable from the health of the environment. 
For too long has the desire for endless financial and economic growth at the expense of the natural world been the norm. We're promoting environmental protection through the Green Initiative Company, which promotes various lifestyle changes that's been adopted by Sumerian citizens. This includes using 100% recycled plastic bin bags, replacing halogen bulbs with LED bulbs, and replacing disposable batteries with rechargeable batteries. Beyond this, we're also promoting the conservation of natural habitats, soil health, renewable energy, tree planting, and waste minimization. Stemeria stands for federal monarchism. A federal monarchy is a federation of nations with a single monarch as the overall head of the federation. It's a system that allows individual nations to retain a great deal of autonomy, while nevertheless being subservient to a central governing body in some areas, including the military and foreign policy. We believe that this system provides unity and stability, while also allowing cultural diversity and national identities to flourish. We're promoting federal monarchism through the establishment of an empire, in which nations are able to join as member states. In order to become a member state, a nation must accept a common head of state, common foreign policy, common military, common money, and more besides, while retaining control of their own domestic affairs. Stemeria stands for the utilization of sound money. Utilizing sound money, such as gold and silver, is something that's been practiced by humankind for thousands of years as a way of storing economic energy. Today, we even have the technology to use gold and silver as money in previously unusable denominations. We believe that utilizing gold and silver, with their value being derived from the commodity itself, is the only way to maintain a stable monetary system. Conventional nations don't use money, but instead use various forms of fiat currency, such as the pound, the euro, the dollar, and so on. These are all created out of thin air, entirely faith-based, and constantly losing value through the limitless expansion of the currency supply. If a nation uses currency in place of money, then that nation will face economic collapse sooner or later. We're promoting sound money through the acquisition and utilization of state bars and coins, which feature Stemeria and the member states of the empire. These status are circulated across Stemeria and the empire as a medium of exchange. Stemeria stands for personal liberty and social responsibility. Personal liberty in the form of natural or negative rights refers to an individual's right to be free from the interference of another individual or group. They may say and do whatever they wish so long as they cause no harm to others with freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from slavery and the right to private property all being typical examples of such rights. Social responsibility specifically the avoidance of acts that does harm to society, is intertwined with personal liberty, as the absence of the former often leads to the violation of the latter. For instance, personal liberty would not allow an individual to pollute a river, as this would have an adverse impact on wider society. We believe that personal liberty in the form of natural rights are not only superior to, but are also in danger from legal or positive rights. Legal rights often define what an individual can demand or is entitled to from another, which leads to the violation of the latter's natural rights and the rise of tyranny, normally under the guise of social justice. A free society is one that respects the natural rights of the individual. We're promoting personal liberty through the establishment of a nation and empire based on voluntary association, voluntary taxation, the right to private property, and more besides. Additionally, we're promoting social responsibility through various campaigns such as the Green Initiative and Charity Initiative, Conservation Works and Sustainable State-Run Industries. Stemeria stands for Voluntary Taxation. Voluntary taxation is a theory that, instead of being forced to pay taxes, people should be free to contribute however much they wish to the state. While this theory has never been put into practice on a large scale in recent history, it's been suggested that some ancient society, such as Athens, may have previously adopted such systems of taxation. We believe that a system of voluntary taxation, coupled with a change in cultural attitudes regarding taxes and the development of a state capitalist economy, 
but not only promote greater levels of freedom and prosperity, but also has the potential to bring in greater levels of revenue. By actively honouring those who contribute more than what might be reasonably expected, and by instilling a sense of moral duty to fund projects that better the wider community, it's argued that people could actually be more inclined to pay higher levels of taxation. We're promoting voluntary taxation by allowing citizens to contribute as much or as little as they want on a monthly, annual or one-time basis. If you want to show your support for Stemeria or play an active role in our development and expansion, you can join as a citizen through the links below. Otherwise, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'll catch you in the next one.